So this is seven C notes determine the number of real and imaginary solutions given a function or a graph. So the first one we've given a function, f of x equals x to the fourth minus x squared. Uh, looking at the biggest degree is four. So this means how many, there are four solutions to the problem, four, four total solutions. Within those solutions, they can be real or imaginary. Now we're going to take a look at the graph of these. I have it on Desmos, graphed it. When you're graphing, you're looking. Anytime it touches or crosses the x-axis, those are real solutions. Now if we look a little bit closer into this, so where anytime it touches the x-axis, some teachers will call it like bouncing off of the x-axis, this is going to count twice. So this is two real solutions. Add zero here. There's a single solution here, one solution. And over here at, looks like at negative one, there's also one, solu one real solution. So looking at this, we have four real solutions. And in this case, there'd be zero imaginary solutions. Next one, okay, looking at this example two, again, we have the biggest degree or the biggest exponent is four. So this is four, there are four total solutions here. And now we have to look at what type of solutions they are. So if we look at the graph, and it looks like it's touches the graph or goes through the x intercepts twice. So that means there's two real solutions. And if you just want to do a quick subtraction, four total minus the two, that must mean there's two imaginary solutions. So also when it comes to imaginary solutions, they always come in pairs. Uh, two, four, six, eight, Keep going. So there's never one, three, five, seven, never that amount of uh, imaginaries. They're always in pairs. Um, again, sometimes teachers, when they're looking at a graph, they'll say anytime it forms this U-shaped, like a quadratic, those are imaginary solutions. They're not actually on the graph, but you can count that as like there's two here, or two imaginaries here, and there's two real here. Third example, given the graph, determine the minimum degree of polynomial. So looking at this graph, uh, a lot of times I'll just say look at the slopes, count the different slopes. We have one slope, now it changes, so two, changes again, three, four. So this is minimum degree four in this polynomial. And all of those would be imaginary, nothing hits the x-axis. And for example, example four, we're going to actually have to graph this. So graph a function that is degree five with three real solutions. So to have three real solutions, it's got to hit the x-axis three times. So come up, that's one. Go back down to hit three. You could have it just bounce off the x-axis. That counts as two. And one more little quadratic shape in there. That's what we have. We have one solution here, two solutions here for real, so that's three real total. And look at our slopes. We have one, two, three, four, five. So that's degree five, and there's three real solutions. So that will work. There's quite a few other different graphs that will work too, but this is just one example. All right.